Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here, and this is a huge rare earth magnet. It can hold 800 pounds. So today we're gonna see what happens when molten iron touches this magnet. So this magnet is so strong, I can pick up these paper clips from like a, a whole foot away, right? What I think I'm gonna do first, so we don't destroy the magnet right away, is put it under a table. So, ouch, I forgot that was under there. So I've got the 800 pound magnet and I'm putting it right under the thermite. And I'm gonna put the board on top of it to protect it. So when the molten iron comes out, it should like maybe make cool patterns from the magnetic pole. What I'm trying to do is create a cool metal sculpture that looks like something you'd get while playing with ferrofluid. And if you don't know what ferrofluid is, it's a pretty cool toy. It's basically magnet shaving suspended in an oil. And when you put it next to a magnet, you get really cool shapes like this. So let's see if I can make one with molten iron. I like how it goes. Magnet's fine. All right, so we're gonna see if this is actually molten iron that got attracted to the magnet. Oh yeah, I can feel it picking up stuff. Pretty much all of this is molten iron. It's picking up a lot. But then again, it's picking up a lot of stuff from the grass. I think I was wrong. I think this didn't work at all because all of most of the iron went onto the grass. So I actually picked up more iron from the grass around the board than on top of the board. So I think the magnet didn't really attract it. Wow, this is really on there. Oh, geez. When they said 800 pound pole, they weren't lying. Look at this. Oop. So what I've done here is I've stuck the magnet to a piece of metal in the ground so it's parallel to the thermite. So when it goes off, we'll see if the metal stream gets attracted to the magnet or not. And if it doesn't, it'll just fall straight to the ground. We'll see if it bends. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. So that thermite turned the wooden bowl into a raging firestorm, but I'm beginning to think that there's no reaction between molten metal and magnets. In fact, I think that molten metal and magnets don't mix very well at all. That was pretty cool. I might've broken my magnet though. It was completely engulfed in the flames right there but it's not very hot. Okay, it's kind of hot, but not like destroyed hot. <laughs> Once magnetic materials reach a certain temperature, they lose their magnetism. That's 600 for this magnet and 1400 degrees Fahrenheit for iron. This is called the Curie point. And below it, the magnetic fields are nice and aligned, but above it, they're totally random. This is why we don't see any attraction between the molten iron and the thermite. The iron hasn't cooled enough to align into a magnetic field yet. Yeah, so this is the wood bowl that the thermite fell into. There's not much left, but it's got a pretty cool pattern in there. Now I just want to see how much iron is in here. So see if it grabs it. Oh yeah, there's a big chunk of it. Man, it's pinching me, ow! Oh, that really hurt. The magnet actually pulled that metal so hard, it cut me when it hit my finger. So these things are no joke. I think our last test is to do the thermite directly onto the magnet. Uh, I don't want to destroy my magnet. All right, guys, now it's the time you've been waiting for. I've got the magnet in the bowl. I've got the thermite above it. Let's see if anything crazy happens. Place your bets down below in the comment section. Tell me what you think is going to happen. Three, two, one. It is pretty hot. I can see lumps of steel like right here. This is a huge just lump of iron, but I think it's lost its magnetism to the magnet. And I think the magnet's cracked in a couple places. Break the stuff off. <laughs> it's hot. Oh my gosh, it's super hot. So this is the remains of the magnet after the thermite hit it. It's, uh, you know, it's pretty much shattered. The thermite like heated it up too fast and it cracked and when, magnet, when magnets get super hot, they lose their magnetism. So this magnet is basically just an ugly, stinky paperweight now. So 
At least now we know what happens when molten metal, molten iron touches a magnet. So I'll see you next time. Bye.